But what is it? It's a the PBA. It's like the P- Police Benevolent Association, oh. and it's like kind of like a uh, like a he's cool thing. I mm. turned the other way when I saw a fucking uh, immigrant getting patted down. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> <And they're> like, <laughs> cool. Gotcha. <laughs> so you kind of, I think you like. It's, I think if you get pulled over, you like show your license and the card. Is but there I'm a like, limit so... to what you can get? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Multiple <laughs> murders. You're like, hey, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I need yeah. two of these cards. Like, got... <laughs> How many of these do you need? <laughs> yeah, but it's supposedly... pretty much a prepaid bribe. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little weird, uh, but it's exciting. <laughs> but I had that. I, I used to bartend at a cop bar when I was a teenager. It was like you know a bar for a police man. I remember like them being like, have your shift drink. And I was like, well, I'm underage and, and driving. And they were like, dude, you're with us. And I remember at one point they were like, what towns do you drive through to get home? And I was like, uh, Stoughton, Brockton, and Whitman. They're like, yeah, yeah, you're fine. We know all the guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it was like a window into like, and that's like the worst corruption in police Yeah, I history. never liked that when it's like, that cop was cool. He let me go when I was drunk driving. It's like, no, that's, that's actually not, that's just putting everyone else in danger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let nah. me go when I was jaywalking or yeah. something, but not I like. I killed a bunch of like, people, yeah, but still. Drive slow, kids. No, it's cool. The Don't other people that, bad. this, when I was in uh, Buffalo, New York, I was opening for a band. It was one of those like all-star bands. It had uh, Chris Novacelic from Nirvana. Oh, wow. No, um, but it was during that era. And then uh, Kirk Kirkwood from the Meat Puppets. And there oh, was wow. the drummer from Sublime. But uh, they were great guys. I partied with them a bunch. I uh, went up at the shows, and it was like literally the first six rows were the only ones I could see, and then it turned into blackness, and it was just all people going, fuck you, (laughs) fuck you so hard, dude, fuck. Like they wanted to kill me. And then I'd get off stage, and those guys in the band were like, that was great, man, that was good. I'm like, that was... (laughs) You guys deal with this every day? (laughs) Yeah. So... uh, But I remember us going to a bar afterward, just a classic, you know, Irish pub or something in the neighborhood. And we're just sitting in a booth in the back and those guys let me party with them. And I was drinking like crazy, like I always do. And then uh, I kept uh, Chris Novacelic from Nirvana, kept going back and from the jukebox and playing Black Sabbath songs. And we're talking, I was like having the time of my life. I was like, this is really cool. And then the uh, the bartender's like, last call. And then I was walking out of the bathroom. The guy's like, got to wrap it up, man. Last call. And I go, okay. And then I go back to those guys, the rock stars sitting at the booth. And they're all just sitting there casual like they had full beers and everything. I was like, uh, yeah, guys, uh, bad news. Uh, we got to go. <laughs> guess it's time. And they're, they stared at me like I was from another planet. They're like, what is this kid? Is he five years old? Like, what are you talking about? They've probably never heard anybody say, hey, guys, we got to wrap it up. They're closing up. And sure enough, they close all the doors. And even the cops came by and they're like, what's going on? And it's like, oh, we got a rock band in there. And we just stayed as long as we ever. Oh, that's that great. Like, they must have been like, "Yeah, wow, he's adorable, isn't he? He just thinks that we're gonna get kicked out of a bar, <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's never happened." I heard stories of um of uh who's the I get no respect guy, Ronnie Dangerfield, Ronnie Dangerfield yeah. smoking weed in restaurants in L.A. This is, I mean, like twenty years ago when yeah. totally illegal and cops coming over and he's like, "Hey, what are you doing, officer? Nice <laughs> to meet you." And just like not even a thought to put oh, this yeah. out. Oh um, no, yeah. Oh no. yeah. Tell your story about the the band you met at the improv. Recently. Oh yeah, I've God, that's that embarrassing. One. You mean the Killers, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You met the Killers. But well, that's the yeah, the greatest. Nick, oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> did I really just give the punchline? I feel like so. Well, I did, I did, but it. it's still a fun story. It's still I guess. a fun story. It's like, but... yeah, fuck. All right, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, I've heard the story. You did give it away <laughs> I think pretty I told hard. It. Well, I'll just tell it real quick then, and <laughs> yeah, take all the fun out of it. But it'll be like a saggy balloon. But. uh no, Nick. Every Swartz woman and... listener will be like, "No, that's how you tell the story." <laughs> I'm like, Sa- yeah. Sarah does that a lot too. I'll be like, she's like, "Tell the joke with the the blind guy who <laughs> reveals that he's gay." And I'm like, "All right, well, that's <laughs> well." No, it, it, Nick Swartzen, uh got to be friends with the Killers. He brought them all down. Greatest um, Christian rock band in America. Amazing, yeah. And uh, I I was standing there and I was drunk, of course, at the Improv. And uh, there's probably a pattern with all my stories. And uh, <laughs> but. Uh, I'm talking to uh, the part I normally don't reveal, but uh, to the singer from The Killers, Brandon Flowers, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I got to say, this story makes him look really good. It makes me look terrible. But he he was just this nice, quiet dude. And I was just all dry. I was like, oh, what do you uh, what do? You do? And he's like, <laughs> oh, we're in a band. We got a band. 
That's awesome. Now I did that grind. Oh Jesus, <laughs> fucking eating Taco Bell out of the back seat of your car and going to shithole gigs. I mean, I remember we did one gig like in near San Francisco where like the, the keyboardist we lost him at one point because he traded his shirt with a guy who wanted to get into the show, like all the shit. And the, and the <laughs> guy's just sitting there listening to me for the longest time. Was, so I told him all these nightmare stories and about how shitty it is to be a musician. But anyway, so that's cool. So you guys like, what's your name or whatever? And the guy's like, uh, it's the killers. And I go, Oh, okay. Well, that's, I've already heard. I think there's another band called that or something. And he's like, no, I think that's probably us. And I'm like, Oh, Oh, so you're, Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> and then I just like walked away. Like that guy just, I mean, he wins the patience award because I must have just stunk of beer. And... <laughs> you know, stop for Taco Bell. And he goes, no. But he I was, don't. he was so, yeah, the guy was so friendly. Like that's he's just right. sort of listening. Christian. And just, Christians are always yeah, nice. I guess that's it. Mormon, too, right? Mormon, yeah. Yeah. 